what's what what should people do uh, because when they come to my office a lot of these patients and I'm not a cardiologist I'm a urologist but they come with a bag of of medications they're already on some urologic medications you guys put them on a lot of different you know depending on what heart disease and America is getting older so what is the big take-home message to a lot of people out there all right so let's talk about the big picture here so one of the first things that we have to talk about is lifestyle management and the other things that can affect um, as powerfully or if not more powerfully uh, your blood pressure readings and so if you look at any recommendation guidelines they're going to talk to you uh, about the different things that you can do for lifestyle and I'll just give you some basic numbers of what you can do to decrease your blood pressure numbers based upon uh, uh, just lifestyle things for example weight reduction if you can keep your body mass index between 18.5 and 24.9 you can expect a 5 to 20 millimeter decrease in your uh, uh, top reading, in your millimeters of mercury, eating a DASH diet. And so, as you know, DASH diet is the dietary approach to stopping hypertension, lots of fruits, lots of fibers, trying to avoid high-salt diets. You can decrease it by 18 to 14 millimeters of mercury. That's a very good point. What does DASH stand for? So DASH is dietary approach to stopping hypertension. Amazing. So good. And it, it is a diet rich in, fru uh, in uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, low-fat dairies, lots of high fibers. Then there's, of course, uh, di uh, sodium reduction. And, you know, I always tell my patients this. Whenever you tell a patient you should eat a low-sodium diet, they always say, I never add salt in my food. And what they're talking about is the sh salt shaker. Yeah. And very few of us use the salt shaker anymore, but what we forget is there's lots of salt already in the food. Especially so, in the processed meat and all these uh, fast food stuff that we're having. Absolutely, absolutely, any of these processed things. So anything that tastes really good, there's a reason it tastes really good. It's probably loaded with salt. And there are some very basic things you can do. When you go out to a restaurant with your family, you can actually say, you know, I'll have whatever you're going to order and ask them to make it with less sodium or low sodium. And they'll do it, and you probably won't taste the difference. 